Hello, and welcome to The Painting Show Sizzle Reel. I'm Jeff, the host and creator of The Painting Show, and I'd like to take a moment to explain the concept. In short, The Painting Show is a talk show where I interview, analyze, and paint with controversial celebrities. It's a bit like Bob Ross meets Dr. Phil with a little bit of Carl Sagan's Cosmos thrown in there too. What follows is an examination of fame, identity, and a much closer look at a celebrity you've probably heard about, but never really had a chance to get to know. What's bugging you? What's bugging me? Yeah, what's bugging you? You're getting old. <laughs> That's what's bugging me, damn it. People expect me to actually fall on my face. So I go out there, have some drinks, uh, have sex with my ex girlfriend. You know, trying to take the pressure off a little bit. So you can't really go and try to go home and lie to your wife or lie to your kids. And, so, Dad, where was you? Uh, I was in San Diego. No, you wasn't. <laughs> so, do you what I saw? Okay, great. You know, where was I? Well, you was in, uh, you was in Dallas. Right. All right, great. You got me. So <laughs> that's that's the, that's the sensibility right there where you can't really actually lie. Yeah. You try to have a, a cool life. I view these conversations like puzzles. Puzzles you can never really be sure you've solved. All we have is our own subjectivity. And the best we can do is try to inform it with careful observation. And no matter how diligent we are in trying to map ourselves out, we can all use an outside perspective from time to time. Somebody to give us a careful look and tell us what they think is going on. I like to see the sunshine like we see today. Man, guess what? That energy started to flow. I hope I can achieve everything I'm, I want to do in, right. in the next 25 years. So, but people got the perception about me and saying, oh, he just, he does all this, he does all that. I should be dead years ago. There have been a couple of things, there have been a couple of times I could have went that direction. The flippant mortal's dilemma is at center stage. He thrashes against the confines of his predicament, but seeing no solution, resorts to bitter mockery. Clinging to his back is the Zen, who also lacks solutions, but does provide deflections. Preaching the gospel of positivity, he seeks to distract and soothe the flippant mortal, and in so doing, prevents the entire personality from being infected by useless scorn. But when it's time for defense, when the activities of the flippant mortal are brought under scrutiny, the Zen produces a leash, gives it a tug, and brings out the rascal. Guess what? I told you earlier, guess what? That video, that's awesome, man. Seriously, yeah. that was awesome. Guess what? No script, you did one thing. You're so like, so raw about what you're doing. So raw about what you're doing, man. And, and from your heart, brother. Yeah. From your heart, brother. That's why, you know what? Either way, love is style, man. Love is style, baby. Thank you. Thank you, brother.